top 10 current NBA players. This is my top 10 current NBA players for right now. You know what I'm saying? Like, I know this list might be shaky, but at the same time, is it? Like, I'm going to really, like, explain why I feel like these are the top 10 players. It's just, like, I feel like it's hard to gauge it, especially coming into this season. But, like, we're going we gonna to just... We're going to just see how things happen, like, you feel me, like, but Jokic, we can't deny that he is the best player in the league, like, he just came off a ring, he's basically a three-time MVP in a row, they just gave it to him, they just gave it to Joel Embiid off of technicality, so, <laughs> nah, Joel Embiid earned it, like, it was leading score, where it was 30, he was top in his conference. It's just, like, Jokic's, like, one of them players, like, he not going to play to the point where he trying to score 30 every game. Like, Jokic can end a game with 16 points, but he, he got 16, but he 8 for 10, and he motherfucking... <laughs> And he got like twelve boards and thirteen assists, like, <laughs> like. And then Joel Embiid over there dropping 43, 15, and four assists, like, it's like it's hard to gauge for real. So like, they had to give it to Joel Embiid, you know. But Jokic is the best player in the league. You feel me? Somebody's gonna have to knock him off his throne, and I. I low-key hope the Denver Nuggets don't, like, go back-to-back. Because -back. if if Jokic wins back-to-back, -back, he already got finals MVP. If he win another ring, like, and get finals MVP again, we might have to put him on that top five all-time center list. Like. But we're going to talk about that all-time center list later. We're going to talk about that. Giannis is number two in the league. Giannis is just the most dominant player in the league. Like, I don't care what type of night it is. I don't care if Giannis sick. I don't care if Giannis feel bad. I don't care if he had the worst day. I don't care if everybody on the team hurt except for Giannis. Like, I don't care if somebody from the fan, somebody from the stand, start coaching. Like, I don't care what's going on. Like, Giannis is gonna give you at least twenty eight. And he gonna average at least eleven boards, and he gonna give you at least about five, six assists, and them things gonna look efficient. It's crazy because he gonna dribble, spin, dunk, dribble, euro, dunk, dribble, shoulder bump, dunk. Like, <laughs> like that, but that boy is a bucket. Don't let Youngs get a little fifteen to eighteen foot jumper, and it's efficient. Boy, he gonna average thirty five. Hey, look. Giannis is the second best in the league. You know what I'm saying? You got Luka. Luka Doncic. One thing I can say about Luka Doncic, when I watch him play, I see him and I be like, this man has perfected basketball. Like, it's literally nothing Luka can't do. Luka can dribble. He can shoot. He can post up. He can dunk on you, he can do all that when it comes to being an offensive player, like, Luka is, like, the best, like, he gonna average 30, like, he gonna give you about 8 to 10 boards, and he gonna give you 8 to 10 assists, like, that boy, Luka is, like, <clears throat> he gonna be the closest thing to LeBron when it comes to stat, like, offensive stats, at the end of his career, because Luka is one of them players, like, Luka is one of them players that, like, it don't matter what's going on, he gonna be efficient, and he gonna score a lot, and he gonna get them boards, and he gonna get them assists, like, it's like LeBron, it don't matter, like, he doing it now, like, at 38 years old, averaging 27, 28 points with eight boards, eight assists, like, that's how Luka gonna be, like, Luka has a game, to where it's not gonna take a toll on his body. Like he's not gonna be 
super sore and all this. Like, he's not going to be aching, ailing, injury, injuries and stuff like that. Like, Luka's going to be playing for 20 years. So by the time he get to that 15, 20-year mark, we're going to be looking at him like a LeBron. And, like, I don't know if his rings and accomplishments and all that are going to be there, but when it comes to, like, what he does on the court and his dominance, he's the one. I'm not even lying. Like, then you got Steph. Steph and Curry. That boy still one of the best in the league. But that boy Steph really can still just walk into a gym and give you 30. All threes, not even blinking. Shut down your whole hopes of winning, going to the playoffs, all that like. Like, Steph is at a point in his career where I feel like he can't carry his team over the hump. Like, even when he was winning MVPs and doing all that stuff like that, I felt like I felt like he wasn't, like, the dominant player on the team that got them over the hump. Like, he really, like, was just, like, a bucket and just was shooting and, like, scoring and, like, get getting them in a position to win. But, like, was he that person to take them over the hump to win? Like, and I feel like in the first ring, when they won their first ring, it was like a lot of defense and stuff involved and why they won. But like them other like the other two was KD and then Stephen Birdie. He really like brought it home with his last ring that he won. So like that's why I say towards his end his, like at this point in his career, he's more like of a dominant player and can really like change the outcome of a game for real life. And I feel like he's still top five, even with him at as old as he is. You know what I'm saying? Jason Tatum, top five in the league, number five in the league. Jason Tatum, that boy a versatile scorer. That boy can score on all three levels. Like, And he played crazy defense. That's one thing about Jason Tatum. That boy got crazy wing defense. Like, That boy 6'9", real like pulling up on you, dunking it. Like, He just went to the... East Finals last year, he went to the, so he went to the East Finals last year, he went to the Finals the year before, and that bubble year, he went to the East Finals too, like, Jason Tatum, oh, he went to the East Finals in his rookie year too, like, we can't even forget about that, like, that boy have been to the East Finals a few times in his career, like. I ain't gonna lie. I ain't got an East Finals MVP, even though I don't agree with no conference MVPs. Like, that just doesn't sound crazy. Like, but he got it, though. Jason Tatum, top five, one of the best scorers in the league. You know what I'm saying? Joel Embiid, number six. Joel Embiid, probably the second most dominant player in the league. Like, that boy's so versatile, like, Joel and me, 7-1, 7, but that boy could really, like, size you up, like, James Harden, like, really, like, pull up in your face, like, and he ain't been getting the post, it's really over, like, Joel and B coming off an of MVP, you know what I'm saying, like, you can't deny that he's a top 10 player in the league, and then you got Damian Lillard, Dame time, that boy average, that, that boy had a cur- Damian Lillard basically had a career season this year, like this past year. Like, and he's, is he even in his prime still? Like, he's like in the back end of his prime. Like, he like leaving his prime. Like, and he had the best season in his career. Like, just imagine what's to come in the future for that boy Damian Lillard. Like, so I think he might go to the heat. So, we, hey, we might see a little bit better Damian Lillard. I ain't gonna lie. Number seven in the league right now, Damian Lillard. He's the one, like, he got it. LeBron. LeBron is still a top ten player in the league. He's number eight on my list, but he's still a top ten player. Like, LeBron, I can't even say nothing about that. man 20 years in the league, like, averaging 27 that boy, bro, like, he averaging numbers that niggas come in the league wishing they could average. Like, it's 25 year, it's 25 year olds in the league right now that can't average 27. Like, 
It is 25 year olds in the league right now that can't average 27. LeBron's still doing it at a high level, efficient, and he gets you boards, assists. Like that boy, that little boy LeBron, he got it. And then for the Lakers to win, I feel like LeBron needs to be out there. Like, and that and that's kind of like why AD is not on this list. Even though I feel like AD is going to make himself a top 10 player, like, once the season is going on. like, But right now, coming into the season, based off everything from last year and all that, AD is not top 10. KD is number nine. KD. That's just... That's, that's just a walking, efficient bucket. Like, <laughs> like KD can walk into a game and get... He can be 10 for 14 with 28 points. You know what I'm saying? Just, like, he don't even got to... He ain't even got to take more than 15 shots to drop 30. Like, that's how I feel about KD. Like, he can just he can just wake up in the morning and just go drop 25 with no with no sweat. Like, KD's still one of the best players in the league. Like, top 10. He behind LeBron, number nine. Like, because I feel like LeBron can impact a win over a team more than KD can. Like, because KD could drop 30 and they could still lose. If a nigga like Devin Booker is not cooking, like, so like, Devin Booker right there at number ten because of that too, like. Hold on. Bro, what? Hold on. Oh, hold on. Hold on. All right, we're back. We're back. We're back. And that's my top 10 players. You feel me? Devin Booker, number 10, because. He's one of the best scorers in the league. He really, if he wasn't on the Phoenix Suns, they would be nothing. Like. So, and Devin Booker should have been in MVP talks for the past two years. And he's been on one of the best teams for the past two, three years. Like, so, and he's the reason. So we gotta put Devin Booker at 10, like. And that's and that's my top 10 current NBA players.